<laughs> Welcome back to Celebrity Radio. It's Alex Belfield talking to some of my favourite people and some of the world's biggest stars. And we've got one for you today. Rick Wakeman, how are you? I'm not bad at all, thank you, sir. How are you? You have been in my life for all of it. I mean, you're such a mega star and you're so good at what you do. It must be great to be you at this point. I'm, listen, I'm, I'm very happy. I enjoy life. I, you know, I turned 70 a few months ago, which, uh, and, I'm, and I must admit, uh, I think Barry Cross summed it up. He called me up and said, Rick, he said, you do not look 70. He said, but you probably did one day. Which was just about <laughs> summed it up. But, uh, yeah, you get, no, I, I'm very happy. With, I'm very happy with with life. I mean, like everybody, you have ups and downs. Uh, I've, this year has been a mixture of, of of big ups and some health-wise with family, some pretty horrible downs. But, mm. you know, you just no different from anybody else really what they go through yeah it's interesting isn't it especially when you've been in show business your whole life and there's those young pictures of yourself I, I asked Ken Dodd this shortly before he died what did he think of those pictures of the 60s and he said it's like looking at my grandson and I suppose it is in a way isn't it you go you, you well, spend I your recognize, when I see really early pictures I don't even recognise me I go who the hell is that you know it's uh, it's just Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? But there you are on sort of the top of your game, your whole career, and being a rock star. We're going to talk about that in a minute. First, so let's talk cats. Of course, the awards for Cat of the Year is tonight at the Savoy. And and I know that you, you love cats, don't you? Which some people might find surprising. Yeah. You're a big softy, basically, is what I'm saying. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm quite involved with my wife and I. I'm a patron of three cats' homes, one in the East Harding called Feline Care, uh, uh, another one in Oldham, Oldham Cats. Uh, and also uh, the, the, the cat part of um, uh, Friends of the Animals on the Isle of Wight. Plus, you know, I'm, I'm involved with with cat protection. Uh, we've got, we, we've had, well, we, as I was going to say, literally up till last week, we had three cats, uh, all rescue cats. But sadly, we lost one of them last week, which was um, devastating for us because uh, George was a big part of the family. As they are, you know. Mm. I'm, I'm old school. I'm afraid you shouldn't have pets unless you want them to be part of the family. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, so that was that was that was really sad. So it's quite poignant that I'm here today for the National Cat Awards, and uh, you know, and seeing them, how fantastic cats are. Cats are so much more clever than than we, we in general give them credit for. Mm. And again, we don't realise how much they move us and touch us and they become part of our lives. They do, and they've made, they've saved a lot of lives as well. I mean, I know just from the awards alone, from looking at a lot of the uh, entrants, that in many, many cases, um, uh, the, the, the cat has actually saved the life of the of the person uh, concerned. Mm. Uh, it, it, because it's amazing with anything from autism to suicidal tendencies you know a cat can it, it can get so close to somebody uh, and can actually change their whole way of thinking and their and, and put their lives into perspective mm. i mean cats really are remarkable there's no other word for it and let's talk about you and the life that they've seen you lead. Of course, the 70s was such a massive decade for you, but even in 2019, you're still at it. Has your life been as sexy as it appears? Because you've never known what it's like to be normal and not a rock star. And, um, no, that's, that's true, though. Although I've been broke a few times, thanks to numerous divorces, which was a hobby that I should never have taken mm. up. They don't come um, cheap, do they? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's it. But I'm very happy now. I've been my great show. We've been together 17 years now. But it, that's all fine. Uh, these, these things are. But it's uh, no. I, I I suppose during the teenage years in the 60s, I was even then I was playing in bands and doing lots of stuff. So music was always always my life. Uh, and then the, the 70s came along, and uh, and that really was a, a, you know a, a big change. You know, so it, um, but. I suppose the thing is, I, I still like the things that I liked when I was a kid. Mm. You know, I still like the football, I still like the cricket, I like my, you know, my sport. I've still got a lot of the same friends that I had. I mean, most of the friends that, that my wife and I have got now are, are friends that have um, nothing to do with the business um, and just 
really nice people. Mm. They put up they put up with us and they can't be too bad. I've got a feeling you had the halcyon days. I look around me now and I worked on gold for a while in London and I see it all sort of dripping away slowly and surely. It must have been thrilling to be around the people you're around. I mean, from John Anderson sort of downwards and upwards too. I mean, it, what an era of incredible talent. It, it was, but the interesting thing is, and, I, and I've, I've sort of said this before, what, it, what is interesting is that at the time you don't realise anything because I think you have to go at least 20, 30, possibly even 40 mm. years on from that before you can look back and do an honest gauge of what it, what actually it was. Yeah. Uh, I, I, mean, I mean, I can remember the day when I was uh, asked, I had the choice of joining Yes or the choice of joining David Bowie's Spiders from Mars. Now, back at the time, that was just, uh, well, which one will be better for my career um, you, you didn't think um, oh this brilliant of a footballer you know being offered to sign for Manchester City or, or Chelsea or something it was it was just what it was at the time mm. it's only when you look back 40 50 years later that you realise wow that was that was pretty important so I, I think you, you know you, you to look back now to that era, you get a much better perspective hmm. of, of how good it was. And you're right, it was good. And to be surrounded by Freddie and Elton and Rod and all these people that we now... Oh, yeah. You know, these were just mates that you're on tour with. <laughs> I know, I know. It's, it's weird, isn't it? Well, Incredible. Still, a lot of, well, those that are still alive are still mates now. I mean, Brian May and I are great mates. You know, um, you know and I, I don't see Elton very much these days but because uh, he's just so busy with everything he does but uh, you know they're, they're still you know if we bump into each other it's still mates time it Incredible. hasn't changed Rick I'd love to talk to you and do a live story interview because you're so fantastic and what a life and career we thank you for your time and you can find out more by going to Cats Protection for Cat of the Year Rick thank you for your time thank you so much I really appreciate it